Good morning and welcome to another fantastic edition of Plus Spot. Definitely, we've been hearing so much response as regards to our program. A lot of people have been showing interest in all sporting activities, trending stories um, across the globe. And don't forget that uh, most times, if you want to be a part of the show, um, you can join us on all our social media platforms. On this note, I'm Mudashi Ushitu and uh, welcome you to another edition of this program. But we'll go straight to um, just where Pascal Loja is waiting for us. He is the first um, vice chairman of the um, Plateau State um, Chess um, Association. And we'll first, among the two topics we'll be talking about, we'll be talking about the development of chess in Nigeria. Good morning, Pascal. Yeah, good morning, Shitu. I is um, just, I um, I is just um, at this period of time. Yeah, very cool. Uh, see if, uh, if you've been in the, uh, in the cold area region in the country, I think that's just. Okay. So, just is cold at this moment. But no snow, no evidence of snow? Have you seen snow falling? Not, not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I've not reached that point. <laughs> yes, um, yeah. now, um, you're based over there, and uh, tell us about the development of chess in Nigeria. We know there have been a lot of programs going on from inception, trying to improve chess. But we still see chess hasn't really got into where major stakeholders expect it to be. So tell us a bit about, uh, so far so good, the development of chess in Nigeria. All right. Uh, chess, like you said, uh, chess, let me just start by everybody that knows chess is a, is a smooth and simple game whereby a, a, a chess player can, can win a game in, in, in just... Uh, as slow as two or four moves, and it it can continue with a, a thousand uh, uh, different moves before it can even get uh, a, the the game can end at that moment. So chess is a beautiful game that players should uh, that players once players uh, develop interest in a game of chess, they become a different a different human being entirely. So uh, it's, it's, it's just beautiful and lovely. I'll put it at that. Okay, now, uh, let's see. So far, so good. Um, people like you and other stakeholders have been making sure that um, chess is on the same level with other popular sports. What are the okay. challenges that um, chess, the development of chess is facing the country? Why do you think chess hasn't got into the peak um, as expected in the country. So, what are All the right. challenges? All right. You, uh, when you look at chess in Nigeria, uh, the development of chess in Nigeria has been slow, in the sense that we have, we 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 have not gone to that level whereby, let me say, number one, we the training, the training of the players, and the training of the trainers too needs to be worked upon we our chess players are not properly trained they, they all of them train themselves by themselves they don't have trainers then our trainers that that means those that are supposed to train the players are supposed to be trained hmm. they are supposed to be certified we don't have such in nigeria that much so that is that is a gap then we we also need to improve in the we need to integrate rather with our educational uh, uh, system whereby we need to implement if possible in intra curriculum chess play hmm. in schools whereby the, the the children should have a session uh, maybe twice three times a week for chess because it is very it is very key for children to have this uh, game in their brain mentally because they we all of us knows that uh, uh, chess itself when you move a piece of chess is a product of what we call it critical thinking and it depicts uh, a power a form of power from that your move and it's also it's a, it's a game of strategy and tactics whereby it helps the child mentally. So mm. if it's in schools, we also 
have a lot of people that can be part of chess play in life. It's, we also look at chess as what? Uh, it, it focuses on the mind speed of an individual. So it's very good for schools to go into that. But we have limit, we don't have that awareness yet in our government or the system in the country whereby we implement it in that school. We need to work towards that. Then also, we should look at, uh, like the, I think in March, the president, NCF president, uh, retired DRG Sani Mohamed, um, made a, a, a speech. He reiterated on the commitment of rating players and welfare. We don't rate our players in Nigeria. We, we, we don't rate our games in Nigeria that much. So that is what currently I uh, think the NCF president is doing right now. He's trying to look at players that are rating, they are playing rated games. They should be uploaded and be rated. And also their welfare. What are they going to gain so that it will encourage them to play at international level very well. Then lastly, you do all this. We don't have sponsorship in terms of players who can play well, who can sponsor them out of the country to play international games. Logistics issue is a challenge. So this is few, these are a few uh, points I can mention for you in terms of challenges in the state, in the, in the country rather, at large. Okay, now let, let's, let's come closer home now. Let's look at um, plateau um, states where um, the, the capital is just and um, in your own domain, um, I want to throw the question to you, what um, have you done? I'm sure you have several projects, several um, activities you've done to make sure that um, chess grow in Plateau State. What are the stakeholders in terms of uh, developing chess in Plateau State done? You are the first um, vice chairman, you have a chairman and I'm sure chess is a um, um, just um, and Plateau State at large is a home for chess. What, what, what has the association done to make um, chess grow in the States? Well, yeah, candidly, I will tell you that we are a baby <laughs> in this quest to get our chess developed in Plateau State. So, we are looking at basically what I mentioned earlier about challenges in Nigeria as a whole. It's exactly what we are also trying to put on together in the state right now. The stakeholders, basically, I will still tell you that, let me start by saying the Plateau State uh, Sport Council is the major stakeholders for now. But I can tell you that uh, we have a particular company that has tried to look at how he can support or they can support us in this quest, which is uh, uh, Grand Cereals and Mills Nigeria Limited, which is a company in, uh, in Jos here that has tried his best to put on one or two events for us. And there are several individuals, same individuals that have put in their best to see that we can push all the the uh, the chess players most especially the children to make sure we start at the proper level like i said we need to let them know what what is this all about so in in just particular what we want to put in right now is that we want to make sure our players are are, are registered in with with a fide number before we can think of moving forward once you have a fide number we look at all the, the things i mentioned earlier we the child should be trained the trainer should be trained then uh the sponsorship should be there then the welfare of the player should be there basically this is what we're working towards it but this is for jaws and it's also for the not central activity, like I told you uh, earlier. We the the not central activity is the first. Let me use this word now. Just is hosting it for the first 
North Central Zonal Chess Championship has not uh, happened before. So with the emergence of the uh, current uh, NCF president, that is why we are hosting it. Uh, it should have been in this uh, this uh, this year, but due to some logistic issues, we decided to put it up for next year. Okay, Mr. Mr. So, Pascal, let, let let me take that from here to so that it will lead us to the second question. Um, all right. First, um, now let's go to the second question, and that has to do with um, the North Central Chess um, Tournament. And um, before before we go into details of the next question. In the North Central region of Nigeria, which state do you think um, is is a very vibrant um, chess state? I want to know that before I ask my second question. In the North Central region, is Abuja. Is Abuja okay? Interesting. So now, yes. now that um, the president of um, Nigerian Chess Federation said that um, every region we host, um, we're at the South South region. And we've done for the yeah. south and um, west, and it's now time for the the southeast was supposed to be done, but uh, we don't have more details on that. But we know that the north central is going to take place um, somewhere around January next year. Um, tell us yeah. what your plan to have a big competition like this for the north central chess tournament. All right, thank you. You see why why I, I said Abuja is the the zoo is the, the is not central is the, mm. yeah the hub of chess uh is because you need you you are going to meet a lot of wonderful players there good players but where what the choice of jaws uh by the president if you look at young players in the north central is just that is hosting them. Let me say hosting is the main home of young players. You can look at the likes of um, Naomi Monday in the in just concluded uh, 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 S uh, uh, NSF, right? National Sports Festival. Yes. yes. She, if you follow the, the, <laughs> the story, you, I think you must have. So she's just coming back from the uh, Asaba. They redeemed the redeem camp uh, uh, chess tournament, which they, they took all the gold there. Mm. The young players, and these are not rated players. Are you getting me? Okay. So the idea for, for, for JAWS is because we have young players that need to be improved, that you need to let them know that something bigger is await, awaits them ahead. That's why JAWS is the... So, okay. And what we want to do, we want to tell Nigerians that North Central has a lot of players. It's because it's just because we don't have the opportunity to to throw ourselves up on the social media or uh, the international level. So we are coming up. We are going to push them there. Then we are going to face everybody. So it's a challenge. Okay. I'll, chess I'll... chess game is a war, right? A yes. war on board and a war. Chess, a war in the, on the mind. Okay. So we are going to challenge with this North Central event. Once it comes up, we are going to prove to us in the chess world that JAWS is where you can breed, you can train, you can breed so what, good players. Yeah. So what, what should we be expecting apart from the talented young stars um, you, you've mentioned? What should we be expecting? Uh, because um, I was in Uyo for the South South um, Chess Championship, and we saw so we saw a grandmaster, and um, we saw many top um, um, chess players across the country. So apart from the young stars, what's the side attraction we should be expecting at the 2023 North Central Chess Tournament? Honestly, I would have loved to do extra side attraction, but. Uh, let me just uh, there are some let me say key component things that you don't uh, okay basically we we are doing it in uh, on an individual base for now oh, okay you understand okay. so so financial we, we are looking at how to 
we are going to we are hoping that after this the subsequent ones we we'll, we can give a better presentation we'll keep improving okay. but we're trying to pull out resources and see how we can do the best we can do now but for site attractions for now we cannot invite yeah. the best we can do we invite uh, our players in the, in the in the country for now okay um i think that's just it yeah it's, um um i want to thank you very much um pascal for being part of today's show and i'm sure that um for chess lovers across the country um just plateau states um is the place to be come january 2023 thank you very much for being part of the show thank you very much even though the january the january date for the north central event is not setting yet okay but i will communicate to you appropriately okay for the tentative date rather okay uh soonest okay once we are done with this December event that is coming up next week, okay. we should be able to come up with a tentative date for January. If it's January or February, we'll let you know. Uh, but we're looking at playing it before before the election, national okay. election. Yeah, thank you. We'll keep updates and tabs on chess development in just. Thank you very much. Sorry. I, I appreciate uh, your interest, your push. Uh, your push to have me on your uh, TV station. I want to believe and I want to promise you that I will not fail you, but we'll communicate and do better. Thank you very your, much. You, with your team. Thank you very much, Sam. It's, um, that's on chess development in um, Jaws and um, the 2023 North Central Ch um, Chess Tournament coming up in um, Jaws next year. <laughs>